Health care is sick, but we can cure it. We can cure it by using not only the inventions of the last many decades in science and technology, but by using entirely new approaches to innovation that are just now coming together in 2018. I'm very fortunate to have had a career as a successful technology entrepreneur in starting and building companies, in taking part in leading companies through IPO processes. And I had done quite a bit of that before I had the honor of being appointed by President George W. Bush of uh, the U.S. into the White House in a role to help lead science, technology, and healthcare. In the early 2000s, what we had in front of us was an amazing agenda relative to the underlying science. We had determined that our agenda included completing the Human Genome Project, making the first stem cell technology available into the research and marketplace using U.S. federal funding. And on top of that, to launch what would be the second largest, most comprehensive and expensive science program, second only to NASA, and that was the Nanotechnology Initiative. Now, going into the White House and going into those years, I had already had the opportunity to grow up uh, with a lifetime in science, with my father being a famous scientist in his fields of immunology. And yet, uh, going into those years, he unfortunately passed away due to cancer, uh, as so many uh, people succumb, and as many of us all share our personal stories, certainly to this day, that we deal with these things in our life, incurable diseases, incurable cancers, cures that are not cures. And as we work through our agenda to deliver on the Human Genome Project, on the Nanotechnology Initiative, on our stem cell research and others, and to be involved with NASA, it struck me, it actually struck me the, the parallels between what we were doing in outer space and what we were attempting to do with inner space. In outer space is amazing the progress that had been made and it certainly has been amazing the progress since then. We can watch a moon rock tip over nearly in real time. We can observe the changing surface on Mars. We can find dwarf stars that we did not know existed. We can use the results of the Human Genome Project and all of us take a personal genetic test and understand some combination of parts of our background that we had no idea could have possibly been true. Maybe explain some of our idiosyncrasies. But when we look at our hands and we look inside of ourselves, we're still fairly blind. Amazing. We can look into outer space and know with great accuracy and observe and surveil so much of what happens live and in real time, light years, light years away. And right here, within us and within inner space, we don't know. And that has to change. That has to change despite all the advances in science. Moving forward, if you look at the advances that we have in all of the fields from transportation to finance, to software, and apply those innovations now on top of what we have learned to date, we can cure the ills of healthcare. We can cure the cancers. We can cure the infectious diseases that we have somehow failed to do in the past. If we invest not only further in inner space, but by integrating the amazing technologies that we have in reaching outer space and landing on the surface of the moon or Mars, in bringing self-driving cars to become an idea to a reality within a few short years. We can do this with self-driving cures. We can draw the line and say, it's not okay anymore to not cure things. It's not okay. We can't accept the fact that we can have this level of advancement 
in so many different industries, and despite the brilliance of our scientists, of our government efforts, of our pharma companies, that we are still today suffering the same losses and treating things largely the same way that we have for decades. So, moving forward, the ability to dedicate entrepreneurial leadership to this cause is certainly something that I'm signing up for, and I know a lot of other, other fantastic people that are doing the same. We're dedicating ourselves to developing self-driving cures. We're dedicating ourselves to developing the kind of advanced chip technology that will make it possible to surveil cancer cells and surveil infectious diseases and surveil mutating bacterial cells and viruses the same way that we can surveil people walking across the street with a facial recognition device. We're going to develop self-driving cures we're going to develop a generation of technology integrated at a level never having been done before in human health and wellness. We're going on a cure -thon. And I can tell you one thing, you can count me in. The way I see it, cures for all and all for cures is our only choice going forward. I'm in. I'm looking forward to this journey. I'm confident that we can achieve this the way we have conquered great challenges in the past. And I look forward to joining you in the journey. Thank you.